Holy shit, that's pretty cool. I did not expect that to actually work. Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Brandon Corbin and we are going to do a first time user experience review of pickmaker.com. This is version 2.0 and it just went out on Product Hunt. Um, the idea of this uh, channel is to go through these products as a first time user without any past experience and to be able to kind of show the developers and show anybody else who's following along where things might be confusing because we have a tendency of kind of getting involved too much in our products and thinking things that are uh, unclear should just be clear to everybody. So with that, let's get into uh, Pickmaker. And by the way, it's pretty... Mm, it's pretty mm, uh, and it is... August 2021. It's always important to remember because products evolve. So this is version 2.0. It's ranking at uh, 203 like upvotes, whatever we call them on Product Hunt. And it's the world's shortest way to create a design. Uh, so I assume that they're going after Canva um, because Canva has been just raking it in, doing a hell of a job. And it looks like they're really leaning into the concept of being able to provide a ton of really, you know, nice looking sniff test passing um uh, designs so it looks like it's pretty good and so let's go ahead and get started with this we're gonna sign up we're gonna skip through this for you all and we are now activated i would hope one one would hope there we go so now we're we're officially logged in hour of truth is logged in we're good to go so mm, man don't interrupt you know, uh, I don't know. I struggle with this a bit. I get why from a product development side, you want to be able to bubble that up. You want to be able to show it. At the same time, as a new user, it's new to me already. Everything's new to me. So telling me what's new is not new, right? It's all new. Fuck, I have no idea. And so the ability to be like, hey, we're on now 2.0. Do you want to see more? Then bring up this big box otherwise, and then make it go away. Because right now I've got to take an action that's just completely blocked my overall experience. So eh, I'm not crazy about those. Oh, cool. Right. Right off the bat, you can kind of see exactly what we're building for. So we can see we need to do YouTube. We could do channel art banner, uh, logos, Instagram posts, Facebook, WhatsApp, uh, Facebook covers. Wow. They've got a lot. OK. OK. So let's go ahead and we're going to do a uh, YouTube channel art and see what we've got going on here. Um. New feature alert. Again, it's all new to me, man. It's, this is all new to me. So it's not a new, it's a new feature. That's cool. It's all new features. So we can click through here and we can see what do we got? Is it just design? Is it animated? Photos. Oh, okay. Click that in there is delete oh that's nice see again naturally i just want to delete it so i went and i hit the delete bot because it's, this feels like i'm in uh you know powerpoint or i'm in you know pretty much a, a lot of those different design tools so to being able to do that's pretty cool so but i can still kind of click through here and say oh soul music okay so if i double click can i change this and we're gonna say hour of truth and we're gonna bring this out a bit maybe move it you know, that's not too bad, actually. Look at that with that nice line. Ooh, it'd be better if that was like that. And that. No. We review the shit out of stuff. You know? That's pretty simple. I mean, it doesn't really get much easier than that. So then from here, what do we do, though? Oh, we can add a new slide. Okay, so this is very much like a PowerPoint. And then, but what do I do? What do I do when I've got it done? So let's add a new slide. Can I go, holy shit, that's pretty cool. I did not expect that to actually work. So can I just do this even? Oh, that would be cool. That would be even, that would be even neater. Where I can just go plunk and it just pops it down there. But so right now I do this. I can take this slide, I can drop it into here. And really quickly be able to put together, you know, my 2021 uh, predictions. There we go. My 2021. Who, what, what more? Huh? 
Uh, so that's neat. A lot of things. Now, now the, the reality is, too, is that you're going to have to constantly be updating these because you really are leaning on these templates, and which is great because the majority of people can't put together a PowerPoint or a, a presentation to save their life without it looking like dog shit. Right. And just tons of text and fonts all over the place. And it's just a complete chaotic mess. This at least will allow you to build a pretty chaotic mess. Um, what happens if I overlay? OK, so there's is literally just boop. We're going. We're leaning into it. OK, so what do we have over here? Images, colors, fonts and mad all generate. What? What was that? What happened? Mad all. No, I won't do it on this one. What's mad all? Dink. Oh, so, uh, okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, so what they're doing here, it looks like, is just random, randomly grabbing fonts and things. Maybe if there's some sort of um, uh, some sort of AI behind it, or or some sort of a uh, algorithm to kind of make sure that you're keeping the right colors set and whatnot. Oh, dude, that's really neat. Again, as a designer and as a UX person, as a designer specifically, right, this kind of pisses me off um, because now, again, people are able to do so much stuff without having to pay a developer, to pay a designer, to pay, you know. So the, the, the wave of technology that's coming to basically start slowly stripping away a lot of those hours of just pure design work, they're coming. I mean, they're here. They're here already. And it works. It's pretty impressive. Like, you know, beach can now be, you know, our. Uh, whoopsie. Whoa. Uh-oh. Uh, our. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Uh, they've done a great job. They've really, this is, this is super slick, very easy to use. Uh, everything is exactly what I would expect it to be. I'm using the arrow keys clicking around, moving it, you know, this and, and getting my, uh, you're getting the guides. So this is great. You know, Pickmaker, congratulations. This is, this is a phenomenal job. Um, I have no real beast. Now, again, the, from a, just a first person perspective, right? Like now maybe we get into some of the things and we're like, yeah, it doesn't do some of this, but give me a break. Look at this. I just clicked that one button. It picked a nice yellow. I don't know. Is it picking? Is it picking the color because of what color is behind it? But I mean, that color looks great, and it kind of has the sun glow to it. I mean, great job. Let's do. Okay, let's. We need to do the same thing. We need to figure out how they did that. So we're gonna do the same neon. Okay, that's a little bit different. What about neon here? Right, white. So it's different on each of them. So, uh, yeah, this is very, very sweet. This is a nice job, phenomenal job. Um, and then I can, what can I download? Let's try to download. What do we what do we download? Present. Oh, get out of here with your bad self. Look at this. Good job. Good job. Let's download it and see what kind of file it gives you. PNG, PDF. We'll do a PDF and give it a give it a give it a gander. Nice. Giving us our progress indicator. Very big. Telling us what's going on. Giving us a little bit more insights that you can publish your project. And now we apparently wait. Or maybe it's stuck and we just found a bug. seems potentially that we have hit a snag okay so i'm going to count that as not working but that's fine so let's go ahead and do um let's just try to download it as a png and see what we get oh, oh you know what i wonder if it has anything to do with me blocking so i'm using brave for those paint, uh, playing along. And so Brave does just by default block certain blockers or uh, block certain trackers. So that's probably maybe what's happening. Let's try it now. No, 
Okay, so that is stuck. I'm not able to download. Maybe it's a premium. Maybe I need to upgrade. I don't know. But all in all, really, really like it. It's very simple. And then the price point for 100 bucks a year, you get everything free plus the brand kit, uh, colors, logo, font, instant access to 80 million premium photos. The question would be here, too, is... Um, do you have access to those to the right of those photos and like all of that artwork long term? I don't know. If you guys do know, leave something in the comments. But yeah, nice nice pricing plan. Uh, seems very reasonable and good amount of templates. A lot of great designs. A lot of flexible designs to kind of make it so you stand out. The ability to randomize it. So all in all, I give this one a four four stars for certain. Great job, Pickmaker.